Hi, my name is Pete, and this is a tutorial for the 4x4 Mixup Plus from Witheden. The 4x4 version of the Mixup Plus is similar to the 3x3 version. Uh, they both uh, have uh, 45 degree turns, and they do shapeshift just a little bit. Uh, the 4x4 has uh, this, this extra layer, uh, these extra layers in the middle and the uh, E layers, and the centers are split. And uh, in that way, the uh, 4x4 version is a bit more like a uh, solving a, a 4x4 cube than the 3x3, though there are some common uh, things about uh, the solve. The uh, s just to uh, talk a little bit about some some names for the pieces. What uh, I'm going to call um, these pieces are edges uh, because they are actually they come from the edge. And um, you'll notice if I turn the uh, cube this way, you'll see that that an edge uh, is actually uh, made up of the edge piece itself, which has two colors. And then an inner edge piece right here, and another inner edge piece. And so these three pieces together form an edge, which is the equivalent to an edge on, say, the the four by four cube. Okay. And in fact, once we have those ed that edge assembled, then we can treat the a mix up plus four by four just like a regular uh, four by four cube. And solve it the same way. So in my tutorial then I'm going to show you how to uh, get the cube from the uh, scrambled state, from the mixed up state, uh, back to cubic form, how to pair up these uh, corners and inner edges or inners as I call them, and to solve uh, some of the parity errors that, uh, that can occur uh, at various stages of the solve. Okay, so I'm uh, proceeding with the scramble here of the uh, 4x4 Mixup Plus. I already scrambled a little little bit uh, while I wasn't uh, recording. And uh, the in order to thoroughly scramble the uh, Mixup Plus, you, you need to, uh, of course, move the, uh, the layers, uh, move the uh, corners around. But it, you also really, uh, to get a good scramble, have to do some of these 45 degree uh, turns. Uh, to uh, basically to separate the uh, inner edges from the uh, the edges. Uh, this is uh, certainly a fun little puzzle, and I'm really glad I got it. I found it a little bit easier to solve than the three by three mix-up plus, but it, it could be that uh, I just had a bit more experience solving these types of things by the time uh, I got to this one. But um, the, some of the parity. Uh, parities that you get on the 4x4 are a lot easier to solve because uh, we have algorithms to uh, to deal with the 4x4 parities whereas on the 3x3 I, I really didn't uh, really didn't have some of the solutions for some of the weird stuff that was happening so now I have the uh, the layers uh, nicely scrambled up well a little bit scrambled up anyway but um, to really get the full value out of this uh, puzzle, you really need to uh, start uh, doing these 45 degree turns and dislodging the uh, the corners. Don't worry about it, we, we can get them. And I just called it a corner, didn't I? <laughs> Excuse me, an uh, edge. Um, and I just dislodged uh, an edge there, and we'll, uh, we'll dislodge another edge. Now, if you wanna make it a little easier for yourself as you're uh, scrambling this, uh, keep these uh, layers together um, it makes uh, it makes things a, a little easier but uh, if you're really up for a challenge um, you really need to get the layers to uh, to separate now this is a unique feature of the uh, mixup plus 4x4 in that it can get locked up and you can't turn it anymore because the edges uh, have an orientation where the uh, uh, that will block the uh, the the middle layer from turning or the, the inner layer from turning. So uh, we can we can actually solve that by just doing a, an E turn or whatever it would be called and just putting making sure that all of the uh, edges are lined up. 
uh, in, so that we can freely rotate the uh, the layers. Now, a bit more of a challenge is if you uh, you separate the edges, and uh, uh, because then you you part of the solve is to put the uh, edges back together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you don't want to, you don't have to, and it just makes it just a little easier to uh, to put back together. Uh, you will find you you can't really get much uh, scrambling on this uh, compared to say the uh, the three by three because the puzzle starts to uh, to get uh, blocked. Certain um, positions will. Uh, of the corners won't allow you to rotate the inner edges anymore. You see those, or sorry, the inner layers. <laughs> okay, so uh, I have my puzzle all nicely scrambled up, and um, then uh, the next uh, bit will be uh, restoring it to uh, cubic form.